everybody. Welcome back to another uh, edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. I had a pleasant surprise today when I uh, went to the store, went to the bell section, and sure enough, this year's edition, finally, of Hop Slam has hit the shelves. I had it for the first time last year. I'd never been able to get it before and uh, tried it, loved it. That was one of the one of the few tens I gave a beer last year and uh, really looking forward to it this year. I've been hounding the hounding the uh, the manager, the the beer section or the well wine and spirits they call it section of the of the store for the last month and finally got it in today and picked up myself a sixer. Um, I have to do do a disclaimer here. I don't normally watch other people's reviews of uh, something until I uh, until I've done mine, but uh, I saw a note there of Chris over there at Beer Geek Nation. He had worst disappointment of 2013 question uh, mark in his uh, in his uh, title to his review, and so I did watch his review, and he didn't like it as well as last year's. He got a lot of bitterness that uh, I certainly didn't get last year. Uh, I hope he just didn't get a bad batch. Um, he said his was bottled on 1-3. Uh, of course, he had a lot fresher than I did. Mine's bottled on 1-9, so maybe it's a different batch. Um, it's got 11697 package 1913, so um, about, bottled about uh, six days after his, so maybe it's a different batch. Or, I don't know, maybe they had something wrong with their beer this year, but. Uh, Anyway, we'll see if it's as good as I remember it from last year. Um, from the website, as I usually do, starting with six different hop varietals added to the brew kettle and culminating with a massive dry hop addition of Simcoe hops, Bell's Hop Slam Ale possesses the most complex hopping schedule in Bell's repertoire. Selected specifically because of their aromatic qualities, these specific Northwest varieties contribute a pungent blend of grapefruit, stone fruit, and floral notes. A general small bill and a solid dollop of honey. I still don't know how much a dollop is. I don't know if that's an official uh, official brewing uh, measurement or not. Provide just enough body to keep the balance in check, resulting in a remarkably, remarkably drinkable rendition of the double India Pale Ale style. Comes in at 10.0% ABV. Last year I used my dual glass so to can see, keep things consistent. Ooh, nice, some nice smoke off the glass, off the bottle there. Keep anyway to keep things consistent. I'm going to use my double glass again. Got a nice again. We got that light, clear, uh, dark orange, almost amber color. Uh, got about a couple fingers of a really creamy, creamy looking white head. So. Kind of fluffy, uh, good looking beer, so let's get a nose on it. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting that, yeah, a ton of grapefruit up front. Get, get that nice, uh, nice healthy do dose of the floral hops. Uh, more citrus, maybe some mango, uh, papaya, some of those uh, tropical fruits. Just, uh, just getting a touch of honey. A uh, little bit of pine. Um, Getting a little maltiness there on the finish. Uh, it doesn't. The smell isn't as strong as I remember it from last year, but um, definitely there's some light tropical fruit in there. Just a hint of light malt there at the end. So let me give it a taste. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting a little more honey this year than uh, than last year. I'm definitely getting those. Uh, those citrus fruits, um, pineapple, uh, mango, lemon, just a little bit of, just about all, if it's the citrus fruits, it's in there somewhere. Um, not much bitterness. This is pretty, mal this is pr fairly malty. It's a nice balanced beer. Um, it's, you know, if you're looking for a West Coast bitter hot, bitter hot bomb, you're not going to find it. This is a nice Midwestern style uh, double IPA. I'm not getting that bitterness that uh, 
that uh, that Chris talked about uh, on his. Maybe it's just a different batch or different bottling or something. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's just sweet all the way through. Uh, getting getting uh, getting the uh, uh, all those citrus fruits. They're mostly this the sweet citrus fruit. Nice balance of. Uh, little caramel maltiness uh, it's a medium bodied uh, maybe medium full bodied beer uh, got a decent amount of carbonation so it almost um, I'd say moderate carbonation so it uh, feels a little thicker than it is but again like last year this is a darn good IPA so let me sit sip on this for a while and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade Okay, I'm back. It's only been uh, maybe 15 minutes or so. I've been sipping on this, really enjoying this. Um, this is as good as I remember it from last year. Um, I'm sorry Chris didn't... Maybe Chris got a bad batch or something over there at Beer Geek Nation, but uh, different modeling date, maybe a different batch, different, different, uh, different brew kettle or something. I don't know, but um, this is as good as I remember it. You got all those citrus... Uh, all those hops all the way through, um, all that nice maltiness to balance it out. This is a well, well balanced, balanced beer. There's a lot of citrus presence there, but uh, it's balanced out, so you don't get that bitterness. If, if you're looking for a, for a double IPA with uh, that huge hop bitterness, you know, like like those uh, West Coast styles, you're not going to get it here. Um, might as well look elsewhere for, for but if you like a nice balanced but hoppy I mean it is hoppy there is some bitterness there but it's balanced nicely with the malts that's what you're looking for this is what you want um, this is dangerously drinkable for 10% I don't even taste the I can't smell it I can't taste it can't taste the 10% at all don't even feel it um, this this drinks like a six or seven percent beer um, Easily drinkable. It could be. It could be dangerous. So, I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue. Um, I'm gonna give it the same score. I gave it last year. The last year being the first year I got to try this beer. I'm gonna give it ten out of ten. Um, good solid. Uh, good solid double IPA. Now I'm gonna hit the, hit the store in the morning. They said they only got four cases, and I stopped by later this afternoon, and they said they'd already sold one. So. I figure if I'm gonna get get another six pack, I better get better get it tomorrow. So I might stop. I'll probably stop by tomorrow and pick up another six pack for sure. But if you can see it, and uh, I guess avoid the uh, bottled on one three, which is the one that uh, the one that Chris didn't didn't like. And I I respect his taste. He's a home brewer. He's been doing beers. You know you know beer. You know Chris over at Beer Geek Nation. So. Uh, but this one, I'm going to give 10 out of 10. Still a good, solid uh, beer, and uh, one I'm going to be looking forward to every year. So next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.